Hey there, Zealots. This is Joshua coming at you today. This is the second day without Jude. Uh, the corner... Oh, it's not the second day without Jude. It's, what, this is the third day without Jude? Something like that. I don't remember. The corner called... Dude, this is like messed up. They're like, we tried to get a hold of you. There was a person that really needed the the organs from your child. Like, thanks for adding that on top of us. Oh, because we're not emotionally able to answer the freaking phone, you're going to guilt trip us. Why do you, If you can't get a hold of us, don't talk to us afterward. I mean, we don't need that extra added guilt on top. We would have said yes. That would have been no problem. You should have said it right then when he died. Like, hey... I know this is insensitive, but there are other people that need organs. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. My kid's dead. Here's my organs. Here's the organs. <sighs> so furious. We didn't need that extra hit. having a hard time getting started today. Destiny and I had a long conversation last night about resurrections and finding joy even in the midst of sorrow. That it's not evil or unrighteous to be joyful when there's sorrow and mourning. She was really it seemed to help. And there were moments of levity where she smiled and even laughed. I'm really starting to miss Judah. He used to snuggle up right underneath my arm and just look at me. Kind of like what she's doing right now. Hi, Judah. Eden. Sorry. Sorry for not being dressed. I really didn't put any effort into anything today. <laughs> Destiny got bereavement. Leave. I guess this qualifies as bereavement. Eden is completely unaware, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to going to the uh, corner or whatever it is that... Funeral home tomorrow. Ah, I'm so I want to go with. We're gonna have Judah cremated, and uh, we're gonna keep his ashes, I guess. I don't know how long we're gonna stay here in Colorado. We might move. Um, yeah. There's a lot of things that people don't realize when it comes to resurrections and things of that nature. And a lot of misconceptions. There are a lot of family members that are saying that Judah's with the angels now. Dude, we got Trinitarians and Mormons hooking us up left and right, and they have no idea how resurrection works. So, nobody is with the angels except maybe Elijah, Elisha, and Jesus Christ, and possibly the 144,000. That's it. What? Yeah. It's Mama. Hello. Hello. You're so special.
Also. <laughs> Destiny and I have been started focusing on writing. Uh, trying to stay positive. It doesn't last. There, it's there's up times and down times. She's better when she's moving, and I just stop. <laughs> I wanted a, a son so bad. I have three sons. I haven't been able to raise any of them. <sighs> this morning's never, it's not, it's not going to end. I mean, When I lost my, when I lost virtue, justice, and salvation, I was like, they were taken from me. They weren't dead, but I still went through grief. I'm going to keep making videos every day. I don't know what they're going to be about. I don't even know if they're going to have anything. I don't even know if they're going to be co cohesive. Like, if they're going to be comprehensible. I don't know if that's a word. But I have a hole in my heart. And Judah's gone. I'm trying to be stable. At least on the surface, I'm trying to be stable. I'm trying to be moderate in my emotions. Trying to keep my my uh, extremes kind of nullified. I don't get too excited and I don't get too low, just trying to stay midline. There's nothing that can be done. I just wish they would have been more of a, a purpose. Like, I wish that they would have told us right when he died that there were people waiting for organs. It's hard to deal with. Destiny has kind of gotten on board when it comes to the whole tribulation thing. She's eager for it now, and just so the, she has the opportunity to see her son again. Um, now, I'm going to put this before you because this is something that occurred to me. Um, it says that... It says... Jesus shall descend from the heavens with the voice of the shout of the archangel and the trump of God. Trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. The dead in Christ shall rise first. That means they rise from the dead. It doesn't say they ascend into the heavens. So the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain should be gathered together with them in the clouds. So... Once all the dead are raised, then does everybody just ascend up at the same time? Because if that's true, then my son, because it says he that is last shall be first and he that is first shall be last. And if tribulation, at least the first, the resurrection part of tribulation, lasts three and a half years, that means that our son could come back to us during tribulation. And he'd be able to spend three plus years with his with his mother. That's pretty dope, right? 
because I just assumed that they all went, that you got raised from the heavens and, and went raised from the dead and up into the heavens. But it doesn't say that. It says you're raised from the dead. And then after everybody's raised from the dead, then they all, the, the living ascend to the heavens. It says, with the voice of the shout of the archangel and the trump of God, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Rise from what? Rise into the heavens or rise from the dead? Because we know it's rise from the dead because they bring brought back to life. It doesn't say rise to the heavens because then you just have corpses in heavens. It's referencing being alive again, right? And then we shall be changed in the blink of an eye and then we will ascend in the heavens with the dead that have risen. See what I'm saying? So... That I, I think that's a pretty credible way of interpreting scripture. It's given her hope. And I would love to see Judah again. I'm over time. Uh, I will talk to you later. You know I love God because I love virtue, justice, salvation, Eden, and Judah. I will talk to you later. Bye.